we decided to take a three-day kid-free getaway to New Orleans for our spring break. New Orleans is a Louisiana city on the Mississippi River near the Gulf of Mexico. Nicknamed the Big Easy, it's known for its around-the-clock nightlife, vibrant live music scene, and spicy singular cuisine reflecting its history as a melting pot of French, African, and American cultures. We stayed at the Courtyard by Marriott, located in the French Quarters on Iberville Street, close enough to be able to walk to most of your activities and nightlife. It was a beautiful hotel with all of the amenities we needed, located close enough to be in walking distance to Bourbon Street, but far enough away from the noise to get a good night's sleep. We highly recommend this hotel and plan to stay there again on our next trip. Our first stop was the National World War II Museum. The museum tells the story of the American experience in the war that changed the world, why it was fought, how it was won, and what it means today so that all generations can understand the price of freedom and be inspired by what they learn through exhibits, multimedia experiences, and thousands of personal accounts. The museum takes visitors on an immersive tour of World War II and every theater of war. This was definitely one of the highlights of our trip. The museum is so large, it would take hours to take in the experience and to learn all that was given. It is definitely an experience you will never forget. And of course, military receives a coupon discount. We then took a walk to Jackson Square, which is in the heart of the French Quarter. Here you can see the famous statue of General Jackson. Located behind it is St. Louis Cathedral. It is a Catholic house of worship. You can also walk over to the famous Café du Monde where you can pick up your beignets, the best in town. You can sit outside in the shaded area, enjoy your beignets and coffee, and listen to the entertainers. After dinner, we headed out to walk the streets of New Orleans and to listen to that famous jazz music. The next morning, we took a walk around the city and looked at the historic buildings. Our hotel booked a bus tour. The tour lasted approximately two hours, and our driver was very knowledgeable about the history of the town. We even stopped off at St. Louis Cemetery and the New Orleans City Park. City Park is the sixth largest and seventh most visited urban park. It's also home to the world's largest collection of live oak trees, some dating back as far as 700 years. Now, when I let y'all just bunch on these close to these live oak trees, if you kill one, I don't know you. Because that would be a $100,000 fine, and I just don't have it to loan it to y'all today. After our bus tour, we hopped off and walked to the Audubon Aquarium of the Americas. This aquarium was voted as one of the top five in the country in the United States today. 
They have more than 3,600 animals from more than 250 species. This was not only enjoyable for children, but also for adults. If you're brave enough, you have the opportunity to pet a stingray. You can also go online and reserve your spot for a backstage penguin pass. Afterwards, we headed back to Felix's Restaurant and Oyster Bar. It's one of our favorite local spots. They have the best roast beef po' boys around. We were also able to catch a glimpse of a film production happening in Jackson Square. And on our last day, we hit a large flea market and headed back to the city park to look around the beautiful sculpture garden. Even though we're from Louisiana, it's always great to visit New Orleans and experience firsthand where a lot of our culture originated from. I hope you can take this opportunity to visit this beautiful historic city and enjoy it as much as we did. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.